lovely Scorpios. It is Tori, the Hope Dilla of Guided Intuition, and I am here to do your monthly spiritual guidance from Spirit, your guides, Jesus, Allah, the universe. This is what they want you to pay attention to in the month of May, okay? So keep in mind that this is a general reading, my love muffin, but all of my information on how to contact me, um, you can find in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for all your likes, subscribing, commenting, okay? So I'm if you're new to my channel, how I typically do my readings as I like to give you a well around reading. I like to do a little bit of love, career, self, love, all of those good things. So I start off with what is going to be crowning you in the month of May. <laughs> Scorpio, I'm so sorry. It's so hard for me to talk. It's like something is literally stuck in the middle of my throat it, when I'm trying to swallow. It's hard. So I really feel like in the month of May, Scorpio, you are coming to some truth is coming up that I really feel like it may be hard for you to swallow at first or it's been hard for you to really accept. But in May, you're going to be coming to an, an acceptance. You're going to be accepting something that's been hard for you to really accept and really grasp. And I really feel like this is going to bring a victory your way. Okay. This month in um, May, I also feel like on an intuitive level, my love muffins, you are definitely stepping up to the plate when it comes to responsibility. You're taking full ownership of your life, of situations, and understanding that you're the creator of your reality. Um, I really feel like you're shifting to another dimension in the month of um, May. I really feel like something that you thought that maybe validated you, you're really parting ways with it. You're no longer thinking about it, okay? You're really moving um, forward. Um, also I'm hearing, just be patient with yourself. If something that, you know, you thought you were over or you're over, but you find that it's going to be crowning you, you're thinking about a situation. Don't beat yourself up. Okay. Just listen to your intuition. It's very important in the month of May that you listen to your intuition. Your intuition is going to be giving you signs and things, um, on how to proceed forward and what you need to do. Okay. Depending a a situation but what I wanted to do a little different okay is I wanted to go ahead and just start off and pick three cards okay my love muffin just to see you know what spirit really wants you to know about the month of May okay to all of the beautiful souls that are watching right now in spirit what would you like them to know about the month all right we got one <laughs> the month of May okay oh, we got another one all right so we got two that fell on the ground. So um, the first thing that spirit wants you to know about the month of May is, like I said, acceptance. You're going to be accepting something. OK, um, you're coming to terms with it. Um, I really feel like you've been healing um, Scorpio from the situations. And um, in the month of May, it's just going to continue, you know, but but this I really feel like it's whatever you're coming to terms with is really freeing up a lot of space. Um, in your life for something new to come in. All right. And also, you know, just really we have show appreciation and I feel like this is more so you. Um, I love journaling, writing. I like to start my day off with writing 10 things that I'm grateful for. That's a great way to really get in the flow of gratitude because I'm really I'm hearing very loudly that um, Scorpio, you need to stay in the frequency of gratitude. So that's one of the ways that you can do and show appreciation just for others, volunteering, among other things, okay? So let's put these up. So as far as what is going to be crowning you in the month of May, all right? Sorry. <laughs> um, first off, we have be true to you. So to me, I feel like um, Scorpio, there, like I said, there's something that you're coming to terms with, something that you're coming to acceptance with. And I really feel like this is going to be allowing you to be yourself, your true, authentical self. Um, you're really flowing in who you are, um, Scorpio. I really feel like you're making decisions that are best for you, even though it's hard. All right. You're really pushing forward and um, being true to you. OK, you're no longer doing what others desire you to be or are putting other people's um, 
wants, needs before yours. You're first taking care of yourself. Okay. Also, we have body changes. And I feel like this is something that you guys are going through. Your body is changing. Um, you may notice like some physical pains or just like physical signs. Um, if you're if you're being sick, I want to let you know there's nothing really wrong with you. But um, you guys are going through a spiritual awakening. Okay. Um, I really feel like um, I had a moment like this where we have religion and spirituality. And I really feel like um, you're really opening and being aware of your relationship with the divine and um, your awakening. <laughs> so that can be intense because you're figuring out that maybe things that you thought were true are not so true, okay? And I really feel like um, your body could be showing the physical signs or the physical change, okay? behind that. I promise you every time that I go to swallow, <laughs> it's like so hard for me to swallow. Also, what's going to be um crowning you is family changes. Okay? So, um I really feel like for some of you, you could be pregnant. Even what I'm seeing with the body changes and the family changes that you guys could be adding another addition to the family. Congratulations. <laughs> but also just um family changes. Um I, I want to say this, I'm not for some of you, I'm feeling like a grandparent or a loved one, you know, um, may be um, sick. Um, and I feel like that could be their health could definitely be um, crowning you. I really feel like maybe there's some truth that you're going to admit towards that. That's some, some, some reality that you're going to be facing with some family member and their health that it's kind of hard for you to look at. But I really feel like you're going to be, you're going to become accepting of this um, situation concerning family and um, healing. Also, what's going to be crowning you guys is you have the windfall. OK, and this just talks about blessings like literally falling out of the sky on you. Just a, a, a windfall of good air, good things coming your way. And I really feel like that's what's going on for you, um, Scorpio in the month of May, even though you may have some hiccups or things may show up, the overall energy for May is just truly a flow, okay? I just feel like there is a, a shower of, you know, adoration and blessings pouring down on you, okay? So now we're going to look into and see, um, you know, what's going on with love for you guys. So, yeah, look at this. We have unrequited love, okay? There's not enough... Um, chemistry, attraction to keep this relationship going. We have deceptions and we have stay optimistic about your love life. So I feel like there is, and for a lot of you, there's a decision that you're making about love to move on from a situation or just um, really cut the energetic cord between you and a person that um, I feel like maybe you wanted something to happen with them, but it's just not going. So I see you being optimistic, okay? about moving on and just really looking forward to what, um, you know, love has for you. But I do feel like some of you were maybe staying optimistic concerning a person or a situation with the seven of cups, not really sure, confused about what you should do with them. Okay. But I really feel like, um, you're, you're staying optimistic about this. Okay. Which we talked about right here, but justice is going to be served, but I do see you walking away from, um, freeing yourself from the situation. Um, we have the higher front. So it's all about, you know, choosing what's best for you. Okay. And I feel like walking, you're going to be making a decision to walk away because you're just going to be freeing yourself from this situation. I just feel like there's a, a sense of you're like kind of like waiting in vain and, you know, moving on because in order, you know, when you end something, that's when a new beginning can happen. Okay. Scorpio. So let's see what's going on in the month of May, that if you knew it can bring you more fulfillment. So really coming to terms, realizing that certain people, places, and things are just not for you, not really fighting against it, but making a decision to move away from that will be very, um, be very, um, beneficial for you. Also really flowing in your masculine energy. Okay. Um, because that's where your strength is and you're going to need strength to just really, um, you know, really cancel this out, really let this go. All right. So, you know, that's what um spirit is showing me. Also, we have co-creator. Um, you just realizing that you're the, you're the creator of your reality, really flowing, um, 
you know, um, working with the law of attraction. I really feel like it's going to help you manifest some things in the month of May that you truly desire, Scorpio. So the word that spirit wants you to keep at the forefront of your mind in the month of May is inspiration. Okay. Just no matter what is showing up, I just feel like there's just this sense of you knowing what's best for you, not settling and going after it. Okay. Um, even when it comes to, especially when it comes to some situation that you're coming to acceptance to and you're moving forward, I just feel like you're just in a better mental space. Even if, um, Scorpio, it hasn't f fully caught on in a physical realm, mentally, you're in a whole nother level. You're in a whole nother space. Okay. And I really feel like it's a good space. Um, it, it's very, it's very inspirational. You know, you're very on it. And I feel like this is why you could be, um, creating, you know, um, really flowing in that energy making necessary decisions or being mindful of what you're thinking about, understanding that that wasn't for you. You don't need to reminisce on it, but you can really think about what you want in a partner, what you desire out of a relationship, period. Okay. I really feel like that'll help you, you know, keep your inspiration at the forefront of your mind. Okay. And all right, my love muffins, that is the end of your reading. I hope that it has brought you some clarity and some confirmation for the month of May. It was such an honor to read for you guys. And I will catch you on my channel. Take care. Mm -hmm.